2004, the man to beat at Brown Belt was unquestionably Andre Galvão, the protege of Fernando Tedede, who was originally from Sao Paulo. Galvão had one of the most complete and entertaining styles in the sport. When Andre competed at Brown Belt, it almost looked like he moved to the rhythm of the samba drums made by his hundreds of TT supporters from Cantagallo, who were always there in full force. From takedowns to sweeps, guard pull interceptions, and amazing scrambles, which somehow always led to submission, Andre simply made it look easy. That year, he had one of the most amazing campaigns ever, which included getting double gold at both the World Cup and IPJJF Worlds on back-to-back -back weekends, winning all matches by submission. Under the tutelage of Fernando Tedede and Eduardo Tellis, Galvan was destined for greatness, but much like any superstar brown belt, his true value would be determined at the next level, fighting with the world's best Fasha Pretas. Going into 2005, and now at Black Belt, Andre was now fighting on the front lines as one of the new TT team leaders due to the issues surrounding Fernando Tenere at the time. It was now up to Andre and Tellus to lead the team into competitions and continue to lead by example, winning at the highest level. And Andre did just that. Competing and staying active as much as possible, Andre fought in as many events as he could, all the while continuing to expand TT's army. And even more impressive was, he was still able to achieve the same results and eventually became a world champion at Black Belt in his first year. And, so they say, the legacy of Andre Galvan was born, as he would continue his winning ways, still competing until today, but now with a new flag, Andre continues to excel in technical innovation and now leads the top jiu-jitsu team in the world, Atos Jiu-Jitsu.